looking at is how to help governments improve their management of public finances. So we're looking at the reforms introduced in the last 20 years by different governments, how successful these reforms have been, what's worked, what is not, and we're looking at how this can be applied to the crisis. So post-crisis, how can governments reform their management of public finances in light of the lessons we, we have learned. Public financial management refers to the tools, the rules, the institutions, the instruments that government use to manage their finance. Okay. Okay. It's important for a number of reasons. Okay. First, because government finances are so part of a, so large part of the, the financial position of the world. Okay. The governments in some countries account for more than 50% okay. of economic activity, and even in smaller developed countries uh, in the range of 30 to 40%. So how government manages its finances has a great bearing on the well-being of citizens and the stability of its uh, economic institutions. There's a lot that's been going on over the course of the last decade or two, and it's very hard to keep track of what's been tried, what succeeded, what factors have uh, been responsible for success and failure. And this book uh, will be a tremendous resource to those who want to uh, improve the situation in their country, not go down dead ends, uh, and uh, cajole their political systems uh, to show them that uh, in some parts of the world things have worked out uh, well. So anything which enables countries to reduce deficits, fiscal deficits in a sustainable way, in a sensible way, uh, can be good to help countries get out of the crisis. And there are lots in this book around medium-term expenditure frameworks, around independent fiscal councils and the architecture which can help uh, governments get through this difficult period of adjustment in the best way while minimizing the impact on the economy and doing it in a progressive and, and fair way. The comprehensive coverage of all important issues in one book is really an extraordinary chance for practical readers, for readers who deal day to day with budget problems, with financial management problems, they can find in one book all important aspects covered, so it's very valuable. The key lesson really from, from the crisis is about how we manage fiscal risks. Uh, during the good times, risks were developing, and we should have spent more time uh, on those risks. I suppose the key lesson is that the sustainability of the public finances are a function of the sustainability of the private sector. So looking at macroeconomic risks, looking at uh, excessive leverage, uh, uh, growth of balance sheets in, in banks, to really to ensure that we focus more on macroeconomic stability. And if we do that, well, in the future, the fiscal position should be, should be more sustainable. So I think the key, the key lesson is to spend more time looking at risks and to remember that the fiscal position of a country is dependent upon the sustainability of, of the private sector and private finance. I think governments are facing debt and deficit, so they're trying to bring down expenditure, they're trying to improve their management of public finances. So it's actually a very opportune time for this book, because now governments can look at what they've done in the past, and they look at this book as a guideline for what they can do in the future. Thank you.